Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going over today's update. Now, this is a pretty big and beefy update, and a lot of it is circuit related. Now, most of these are circuit updates, and I'm going to press them out for you guys. You guys can pause and read them if you guys want, but um, the most notable things are that there's new functionality inside the beta gun handles, and you can now completely turn off reloading for the gun handle. And uh, yeah, most of it is gun handle stuff and, you know, a bunch of stuff we really don't care about. They now open doors to new circuits. It's finally a CV2 circuit now. The new beta room door object can be used for its own very easy setup, but also works free beta destination chips and welcome mats for creators who want advanced or more dynamic rooms. Now this is a big pill to swallow and I'm just going to basically explain it to you. There's a new beta thing that's called the Plater World UI and it adds a floating resource ball and text labels to the players in your room. You can configure it to change it and make it to whatever your heart desires and it's pretty cool. This feature includes a bunch of new chips as well. You guys can pause and read if you guys would like. Now they've improved circuits error reporting. I don't know what that means but basically selecting an error in the log also highlights the chip that sent the error. By popular demand there is now a settings option to disable the CV2 error sound effect with more improvements coming soon. Now the old log screen has gotten a promotion and you can now find a text screen in your palette instead. Now onto the juicier bit of this update there are Maker Pen VR shortcuts now. You can now add the Maker Pen spawning to the standard Espresso menu. When holding the Maker Pen, hold the Espresso button or your controller's secondary button to open a menu with tools and widgets. Move your fingertip to an option to select it or release the Espresso button to dismiss the menu. Anyways, there are some new gesture and controls iterations as well, and let's read them. This bump and handshake have consistent notifications when confirmed and let you know if you are already inside a party or with friends. Screen players turn to face each other during a handshake now, and the ignore bubble setting is saved separately for VR and screen mode. Now for the bittersweet ending, we have the general improvements and bug fixes. This is where the big stuff gets announced. <laughs> now they've launched a rollout test for the dorm skin store that allows you to spawn, despawn, and replace your current dorm skin. I basically said that update inside a earlier video. Automated voice moderation has started to roll out on some player created rooms. Deep links are now prevented from being handled on unsupported platforms. This will fix an issue where gift box zippers would remain on other players boxes. Very weird. Minor bugs related to the free gift button have also been fixed as well. Now you can also zoom out when customizing your avatar now. And they fixed bugs that would occur on Steam VR when taking off your headset. And uh yeah that's basically it. Anyways that's pretty much this entire update. It's pretty mid but it also has some really good bug fixes. Just, you know, CV2 stuff and bug fixes. Anyways, thank you guys for watching so much, and I'll see all you guys inside the next video. If you guys haven't already, be sure to like, subscribe, put on those post notifications, and I'll see all you guys inside the next one. Anyways, without further ado, BROFIST!